Welcome to Geeks 4x4 and another Chats with Geek episode. And today we are going to talk about how the four-wheel drive system works on your Ford Excursion and on even some Super Duties. This is an 05 to 07 axle. This is the exact same setup. Uh, I believe that they might even still use the same setup to this day. So let's start with the basics, okay? You are sitting in the truck. You're, we're going to talk about this Excursion-wise. So we've got a knob on the dash. If you are in a Super Duty thinking about this, same thing. You've got... Sometimes you guys have an actual lever on the floor. Think of my knob as your lever. Uh, so when you turn the knob on the dash to go to four-wheel drive, two things have to happen, okay? One thing is this hub has to lock in. The second thing is the transfer case has to shift over to four-wheel drive and engage four-wheel drive in the transfer case, okay? So the vacuum system, what's supposed to happen, you're supposed to turn the switch. The vacuum system's got a little slide in here that locks this hub in, which essentially does this. It doesn't actually turn the hub, but it has a little vacuum thing in it that leaves it. If this hub is in auto, this hub is able to move with vacuum, okay? So that locks the hub in. What the hub locked in does is attach the wheel to the axle shaft, which is the little shaft in the axle straight behind this thing that goes to the center differential. And that differential goes to the drive shaft. Drive shaft connects to the front output of the transfer case. Okay, so the vacuum locks the hub in so that it's attached to that axle. That axle is now attached to all the drive shaft and stuff, but you're not in four wheel drive yet until the transfer case actually shifts as well. So our excursions have an electronic motor. I typically do mine when I'm sitting still because I'm going to four low, so you need to be in neutral or park. And I can hear the motor go click, and I hear a clunk, and I know that this thing is in four-wheel drive because I locked the hubs in, and I have done that. So there's some upgrades you can do. Upgrades are talked about. Or you can delete vacuum, okay? What does deleting vacuum mean? That means that you have no more shift-on-the-fly ability. So you need to get out every time you want to put it in four-wheel drive and get this hub into the locked position, whether you have a warrant, a mile marker, a factory hub, whatever you have. This hub needs to be in a locked position, which is why mine's marked with black right here. That's how I know I am locked in. I'm gonna unlock it so I don't forget. And then your transfer case also needs to be in. So just locking this hub still runs you in two wheel drive. So even though everything behind this is spinning, which you can, yes, so in the winter time, I've heard some guys that say when winter starts, they just lock their hubs in and leave them locked all winter. That's fine. Uh, it's not gonna hurt anything. The axle shafts uh, will spin, same with the drive shaft, but the transfer case is not in four-wheel drive. So you're still in two-wheel drive, even though everything in the front is spinning. But you do have the drag because now your tires are hauling all that stuff spinning, okay? So you might get worse fuel mileage, that's okay. You know that every time you flip the switch, all you're looking for is transfer case engagement versus the hub engagement. So if that makes sense to you, essentially you've got two different things. So if you turn the transfer case on with no hub engagement, your axle shafts are not attached to these tires. The hub is what attaches the axle shaft to the tire. So that's a, that's why the hub is a super important feature of these. It's also really cool that you can free spin because if you really mess up a front drive shaft and it's you know not smooth or something like that, and you unlock this, the front drive shaft doesn't spin going down the road. So you're not going to feel a vibration like, excuse me, in a Jeep or in something like that. The Dodges, I think, are still running all the front hardware. Um, I don't know, I think Ford to this day is one of the only ones still with a locking hub separation um, of a front end. So that is how the whole four-wheel drive system works on these excursions and on a lot, I mean, I think it's all these new Super Duties still, still have the vacuum hub thing. There's seals in there and vacuum goes, it locks the hub in. So uh, if you wanna make sure that it's on, Flip it to locked. If you uh, know yours works pretty well, vacuum hub systems do work, and I still am using it on the white truck. It works great. Uh, and that is how it works. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you've got any other video ideas, any other video questions for me for Chats with Geek, I would love to answer them. Please put them in the comments below, and uh, you'll see a video pretty soon about that question. So this is another one asked on my pages. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you on the next one.